All right, uh, December 9th, 2011. All right, I've got an introduction here. Yeah, you're all jerks. You're all idiots. You're terrible people. Every last American citizen who pays taxes, I hope you all get drowned by the sea. I mean, you know, all the negative stuff that your collective does to people, you should all be cooked up on an island like rats or drowned like rats in the sea. Anyway, I thought I'd... Uh, give that angry, angry introduction to get rid of all the close-minded and dumb people that jump to conclusions without thorough investigation. This time I'm reading something. <clears throat> A lot of things came to me about the last three videos I did and since I got quick responses on uh, the water being aliens controlling us and uh, eight responses on yesterday's, uh, which were very fast actually, so if you 8 and you 27 go off and tell other people to continue viewing these videos, you can probably jump that number into the thousands and more and more people will have this information. Now, I'm going to document some stuff in numbers a little bit more orderly. <coughs> so here goes. <coughs> if I can stop coughing. All right. I'm going to give you the five big clues that are hard evidence to everything that I talked about in the last three videos. Number one, and these are websites you have to go to. You just punch in the names I mentioned just now. I'll try to spell them out for you. And you can verify on your own that these things actually are real. I'm not talking like uh, I expect you to believe this. You're going to find this out on your own, and you will be awestruck when you, as each stone is uncovered, you will be awestruck that there are definite possibilities to everything in this particular 15 minute video, real heavy duty possibilities that um, will make you not only a believer, but you are one of the knowing beings on the planet that know you're being manipulated, not just by your fellow people, good and bad, but by these alien water beings there are anomalies that should not be trusted and that same water flows through our veins so are we really in control of ourselves or not here goes number one dr. Emoto's website he's the one who did the uh, water crystal experiments you can do them yourself freeze the water all you need is water some dishes and uh, a microscope that's it you'll be able to verify anything in his books and everything that he's written You'll also come up with some of your own theories. Um, I call it leapfrogging. Uh, like leapfrog and contact uh, chain reaction. Okay. Number two. Um, what was it? Uh, the Costu experiment. Uh, Jacques Cousteau experiment. He did an experiment. We had two water salt, salt water tanks. One artificial, one real. Taken out of straight out of the ocean. Put sea life in both the air tanks. The same sea life in each tank. And after a very long period of time, the tank with the false seawater, the artificial seawater, the fish started to die. This leapfrogs and connects and links on to Dr. Emoto's experiment that there is something alive in water. He took one cup of water from the real saltwater tank, the ocean water, and poured it into the alien artificial water tank. One cup all the fish started to live. Ooh, sounds eerie. Ooh, spooky. It's going to get more spooky in a minute. Then the next step you take is the 99th monkey philosophy. This is the one that if you know anything about quantum theory, quantum mechanics, chaos physics, and leapfrog technology linking just like the computers that we have, that you're going to arrive at the same conclusions and come up with some of your own that will sound crazy to everybody but once you give people these five steps they have to follow through and do every last one of them so that they can verify and believe themselves that oh my god this is true next 99th monkey philosophy you remember that I said that one of my other videos I don't have to repeat it but I'll try to give you a small synapse that's where one monkey was shown how to wash its fruit and after it reached the 99th monkey on island number one, island number two and three in the Sea of Japan, miles apart from each other, started to wash their fruits. That means that something in the seawater, something throughout the air, something through the atomic structure, something through dark matter that exists everywhere in the universe, which atoms travel through, 
talks to each other, makes communication possible in ways we, our five senses, cannot comprehend. Number four, get ready for this one, the holographic universe. Type that into your Google. You will get the first page will tell you, once you type into the right one, that in the holographic universe, he mentions an experiment that went on in Paris, France, where one electron was separated from another across the river in France, Reims, France, the river Reims. And when they infused a certain amount of effect on one electron that had been entangled with its twin electron, the other electron on the other side of the river responded immediately within less than a nanosecond. And once they divided the time, the distance across that river, and compared it to the speed of light, 186,000 miles per second, they came up with a figure that was faster than light. Whoa, excuse me, this is starting to sound like something really weird, but it isn't. These are real research programs that happened. Next, number five. Are you ready? the clam experiments. These experiments were done with clams. They took clams from the eastern seaboard and placed them in a college campus in the middle America. I think it's somewhere around Minnesota or or uh, Mich uh, Chicago, Michigan, anyway. One of those universities in middle America had these clams in tank. And they raised and lowered the sea level of the clams. You know, the clams close when the water's down and they open when the water's in so they can feed. They raised and lowered the tides or the wa level water of the tank according to the eastern seaboard timetables for the tides where the clams were taken from. After a certain amount of time, more than 30 days, the lunar month, the clam stayed shut during the time when the tide was in. This means the scientists went outside, they found out that there was a full moon that day if there had been, if the eastern seaboard was gone and there was a, the, the uh, seaboard, the, the beach, was actually there at the campus where the tank was, the tide would have been down, not up, because of the time change, the time interval, and the clams would have been shut. So, I've done those five, now I'm going to read you some of the other stuff that I wrote after that. This leads to a very narrow road of conclusions, and of course, no credit is going to be given to me. Making such a jigsaw, to, to, to put together this kind of jigsaw puzzle that no one else has done, to arrive at this monumental contact with uh, possibly more than one alien presence that's not only in water, but in all the elements. But water seems to be more liquid and requires life to live, so maybe water is the first place of contact that would be the easiest. So why are people creating Catch-22 and ironic situations ex and explaining, ex possibly explaining sicknesses, health conditions, both physical and mental, that come from DNA? DNA needs water to continue the chemical and electrical reactions to cause things to happen. Each person whoever they are, have the right and responsibility to choose what they will, good or bad. And if there are alien beings that are already here from other worlds among us, they are not exempt from this because they need water also in order to live. What could be, and it's what could be a quantum parasite that tries to control over us and over all life forms in the universe. What do they get in return for this control? It's uh, nine minutes into the video. Here's what they get. And if there is such an immense entity or God, then free will doesn't exist. And it's only an illusion, which is already talked about in Buddhist life. Life is an illusion, or karma and maya. And you could, and that could be related to this, that this water beings, plural, have the ability to control all of the elements, which could bring about a huge field of quantum concerns. The primary motives of this being throughout the history of man, not only our human evolved history, but those uh, that, uh, through 
others that communicate skills of contacting through dark matter entanglement throughout the universe could be and has been linking all of the many possible beings feeding off of all of the energy processes in the universe benefiting them by constant energy exchanges which would include all of the wars deaths and destructions in our lives a good comparative is a storyline out of a comic book with the Fantastic Four in the 60s when they first met with Galactus not do not confuse those with the movie the movie had a cloud as Galactus you never saw Galactus as a being and it and it's represented in the comic book story Galactus feeds off the energy of planets and I admit it is a very scary prospect when you combine your questioning imagination with the physical fact of the five research factors I've mentioned earlier in this video and in the other three this is why I say a seminar for me is desperately needed to possibly avert widespread misunderstandings leading to possible chaos and destruction that the lack of the viewing audiences in these videos have the ability to unravel and the revelations that are taking place of great numbers now could one possibly be that it is using us or me to create a huge controversy that would bring about more negative ironic agonies in all of us so that it this water being or beings could benefit from the heated exchanges or worse that will take place including the recent biblical interpretation comparatives like the Gulf oil disaster in happening in reality is to bring our human condition to release more energy so that it can feed itself and give us nothing else in return except to continue to have babies we we'll go through the same thing feeding it through just our own existence I knew that if many of you may oh, I can't read my own writing I know that if many of you may think I'm just talking in endless circles but that too could be a product which it feeds off of to boggle our minds to boggle the minds of all creatures no matter how intelligent they are the water beans is like a default parasite not letting us go through our own free will I go on to just add a quick thing here it's 12 minutes 13 minutes into the video that this all is modified and creates a war of doubt creating doubt in about everything we do especially when all are part of it leads to revenge death destruction and a very real conclusion that free will is limited not only by ourselves but uh, by all life everywhere in the universe for me I know now you're all being scammed be you rich or poor good or bad negative or positive North Pole South Pole yin or yang old or young light or dark these opposites like in magnetism do not exist naturally throughout the whole universe in multiples you can't make a multiple pole magnet unless you glue it together it doesn't exist naturally North Pole and South Pole is always boom on its own if you break a magnet in half it creates two magnets which compares to the holographic universe that if you take a hologram and you cut it in half you don't have two halves of the rose a picture of a rose you have a picture of two whole roses this is why it's important that you get on your computers and verify what I have discovered and what I have discovered is the puzzle that I put together to give to you to understand and have a greater meaning of what's really going on that we're all being scammed we're being lied to not only by our fellow people who some of them are beyond being jerks but by ourselves as well because we carry water and blood in all of us and that DNA needs water in order to live and communicate and work electronically and if this being has any kind of control like it does in the movie what the bleep and other examples then I wait for your responses because I think that after you check these five out 
you're going to be blown away.